how can we establish healthy boundaries between work and home? Yes, this is such a big question. So many folks struggle with this. And um, of course, you want to create routines each day, especially if you are working from home. So for example, you want to shower, change into fresh clothes for work, and then sit in an area that you've designed for working at home. And then here's the hard part, set a time to begin and end your day that doesn't require much overtime. And then sign off your computer and step away and give yourself and your employees permission to turn off their notifications on their phones after hours. Just because you have nowhere else to go doesn't mean that you must be available and working from early in the morning until late at night. Also, you can ask for your workday to end at a reasonable hour, even if you don't have kids, right? Whatever our situation, we need time away from work. I have to repeat that for folks. Whatever our situation, we need time away from work. During the pandemic, like we all thought, well, we have to overwork because the need is so great. But the studies are showing that when we have time to recuperate, as you're finding out, we return feeling more resilient, more creative, right? We're better problem solvers. And when we have time away from work, either in the evenings or on the weekends or on vacations, when this precious time is interrupted by emails and texts from our colleagues, we don't renew ourselves as well. So it's important that you respect the needs of yourself and your team to be able to rejuvenate at home and do not email or text them after hours or on vacation. Yes. And also you want to make sure that the workload of your employees is manageable and at a pace that's sustainable. And previously organizations defined an ideal employee as someone who is always available. But this is ludicrous. No one is always available. No one. No. It's no. time for us to stop making overwork the norm. Everyone needs a rich and creative life outside of work. So also you can remember that if you have a lot of meetings, including on Zoom, this affects your workload mm -hmm. and you want to check in with yourself or your employees at the beginning. If anyone has back to back calls, be sure folks leave five to 10 minutes early so they can take breaks from their screens and move their bodies and not be stuck there all day. And this is really interesting. Remember that we have cycles when we sleep and likewise, it's ideal to take breaks during the day every 90 to 120 minutes. Yeah. But we don't do this, right? <laughs> We're conditioned to stay at our desks and plow through our task lists yeah. rather than listen to the needs of our bodies. I, I've read articles about people who are now in a hybrid environment at work and they're complaining that they're not taking breaks anymore, yeah. right? They're right back to being chained to their desk. When they're home, they'll let themselves <laughs> go to the bathroom and, you know, take care of themselves. But at work, they won't do it. But it's so important that we do take breaks, even if we're in an office, because the energy that we have is more quickly depleted if we don't renew ourselves. Yeah. So the key is to take breaks where you totally disengage from work, you know, go for a short walk, talk with a friend, you can focus on your breathing, you can meditate, you could take a short power nap, this would be for 20 to 25 minutes, and <laughs> set a timer, right, be sure you set a timer so you don't go into deeper stages of sleep, that would be yeah. <laughs> So oh, I love is, those power naps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're they're really helpful for some folks. It, it it's been proven that it keeps your brain activity high all day. Yeah, and uh, we have it in our heads that if we step away from our desk, that we're lazy, right? But it's the opposite, right? You're stepping away because you want your body and mind to function better during the day. You want to be a better, more productive employee. You want to renew your energy. It's funny while you were talking, I, I, was, I wrote down, check in with yourself, and you said it. So oh, you nice. saw my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a few moments and journal your thoughts. 
Danielle Collins suggested that we create routines each day, especially if you are working from home. Sometimes it is hard, but take a few minutes and write down how you can create healthy boundaries for yourself. So what about you? Do you have daily routines that you follow? Take a few moments and write down your thoughts. Your needs are important. What do you do to recuperate? Take a few moments and write down your thoughts. If you are an entrepreneur or a supervisor, what can you do to better manage the workload of your employees? Remember, keep expectations realistic. It is important to have healthy boundaries when working from home. The key is to listen to the needs of your body. Thank you for watching this video and for joining us for Soaring Monday. And as one of my mentors once said, be bold, be a bit foolish, and just go for it. We'd love to know how you're doing. Connect with us on our website at becomingfierceentrepreneurs.com. See you next time. love for you to subscribe to our channel. Can you name something that can make you feel happier, more productive, and it inspires creativity? I know you were thinking of your hot morning cup of coffee or tea, but did you know that keeping a writing journal has the same benefits and they last long after the caffeine buzz has worn off. Keeping a writing journal is a great way to empower your thoughts and ideas. Is journaling part of your writing life? If not, think about starting a journal. Here are some beautiful journals I created from my artwork. You can also use these journals for note-taking. They are compact for carrying in your bag, and they come in six different styles. Please visit our website at equiptosoar.com and click on our Tools and Resources page.